I bet won't turn on. Fix it now without losing your data. Assalamu alaikum everyone, my name is Abdurrahman Turkwan from Afghanistan. In today's video I am going to show you how to fix an iPad that is not turning on without losing your data. With this method you can also fix all these problems without losing your important data. So make sure you watch this video till the very end so you don't miss anything. And also if you find this video helpful by any means then please share it with your friends. Sharing is always free guys, it doesn't cost you anything. So with that being said, let's get started. As you can see here, I have an iPad which is not turning on and this is what happens whenever I connect it to a power source. As you can see, this iPad won't turn on and won't pass the screen. I know this problem can be fixed by restoring it with iTunes but the problem is iTunes will erase everything from this iPad which I don't want. If you have similar problem with your iPad then you don't have to worry. In this video I'm going to show you an easy way to fix this problem without losing your important data. So let's get started. In order to fix your iPad problem you will need a software by the name of Tenoshare Re-iBoot. You can get the software from the link given in the description below. The software is available for Windows as well as Mac users. So just go ahead download and install the software, link will be given right in the description below. After installation, just open it up. Next click on this option, click on fix now. Now you need to get your iPad into DFU mode or recovery mode. The instructions are given here are for iPhones. So if you don't know how to get your iPad into recovery mode, just go to Google and search your iPad model and recovery mode and you will get instructions from there. So now I'm just gonna get my iPad into recovery mode or DFU mode. Once you get your iPad into recovery mode, now all you need to do is click on fix now. Now this software will suggest you to download latest firmware version for your iPad. So in my case, this software is suggesting me to download iOS version 13.4.1. Now there are two ways to download the firmware. The first option is downloading the firmware through the software. If you click on download, it's gonna start downloading the firmware. So as you can see, here it says I don't have enough space on my MacBook. So that's why it's giving me this message. And the second option is downloading the firmware through browser. If you want to download the firmware through browser, just click on copy and it's gonna start downloading the firmware. So I'm just gonna cancel it because I've already downloaded it. So I'm just gonna select the firmware which is located right on my desktop as you can see here. After that just click on repair now. After that, this software will start repairing your iPad. During this process, do not disconnect your device from your computer. Just let the software do its job. Okay, now you can see on your computer, here it says the repairing process is completed. Now the iPad will restart. After restarting, your iPad should be fixed and get back to normal. So now my iPad will restart. Okay, after the initial setup, you should have all your data untouched on your iPad. So as you can see, here are my apps which are already there. Now let's go to photos. Let's see. Do I have my photos? Yes, I do. All my photos are there. As you can see, none of these photos are touched. So there you have it guys. That is how you can fix an iPad that is not turning on without resetting it. 
I hope you guys learned something new from this video. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up. And also, don't forget to share this video with your friends. And if you want more videos like this, then please subscribe to my channel with notification on. And I'll catch you on the next one. Stay blessed. Stay safe.